Welcome to Wakayama. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Wakayama, Japan. It's a change from the scheduled Kochi due to low tide. The rest of the group that joined me yesterday are staying on board, but I'm thinking it's a shame to come all of this way and not get off and explore a little bit. All aboard time is 12.30, so I don't have too long. It is now uh, just gone 9.20, so I'm gonna grab a very quick bite to eat, and then I'm gonna jump off and hopefully see if I can find a bus which takes me into the town center probably explore for just around an hour and then I'll come back on board. Let me just quickly show you what I can see. There isn't a huge amount to see as it's industrial but uh, let me give you a quick look. got a very quick bite to eat and a very very random choice this morning. I've got some cottage cheese, some prunes and some diced apple just to give me a bit of protein before I get off. Um, yeah, a bit of an odd choice. I was kind of looking for some fresh fruit and yogurt, but couldn't find it. So this will do for now to tide me over until I get back on the ship after a quick wander. Okay, okay, okay. I am off the ship. There's a queue for buses here. I'm not sure if it's for a paid excursion or if it's a uh, free shuttle into the centre, but I'm about to find out. Well, I might have to rethink my plans because there's a taxi rank with quite the big queue and not a lot of taxis. And um, I think I'll need to get a taxi to get out of the port area to get on a bus. And as it's just me, it's probably going to be quite expensive, so I'm kind of hesitant to do it. I'm in two minds, going to wait around a bit and see if any buses come along. Um, or see if there is a way to walk out of here without getting a taxi, we'll see. But um, anyway, as I'm here outside and uh, as we were docked the opposite way yesterday, it's the first time I've been this close to the, uh, the front of the ship. so. Let's take a look at the bow. There she is. Right, there are people walking out, so I'm hoping that I can get a bus if I keep walking. Let's find out. Well, there's something going on at least. Okay, a little update on my adventure today. So I was following a couple and they kind of stopped at a crossroads and asked me where I was heading. And I said, I really don't know, I was following you. And uh, they didn't seem to know where they were going either. And they asked a few people. And then I happened to look at Google Maps and I can see that the Sumiyoshi Shrine is 13 minutes walk away and it is described as it's in Osaka prefecture and it is the main hang on one second dear viewer it's the main shrine of all the sumiyoshi shrines in japan okay so um it does actually look quite nice um I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick this out. Let me show you. See that? Looks all right, you know. So I'm just gonna head there. Okay, I'm pretty much five minutes in a straight line now until I get to the shrine. Oh, look. Little Tory, little Tory gate in there. A back garden, backyard. And I can see a baby little cherry blossom tree as well. 
Lovely. Here we are then at Sumiyoshi Shrine and what a lovely unexpected gem. I didn't expect to find this when I got off the ship this morning. So let's take a closer look. There's Tory gates and all sorts inside. So I'm quite impressed with this. Lovely little find. And um, I think I'm gonna have a look on Google Maps and see if there's anything else that I might discover. It's just worth getting out and exploring on your own sometimes to see what you can find. Absolutely. What a beauty. And just lastly, if any of you can decipher this. People have some very beautiful gardens here. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Another little Google Maps discovery. If I keep going further away from the port in the direction that I was going for the shrine, it leads me to uh, Sukum Park, which I think is that. I think it's that to my left. But if I continue on, it brings me to Yushi En Garden. So it's about 15 minutes away. So I'm going to go and take a quick look at that and then I'll walk back to the the cruise terminal. Um, I've got an hour and a half, so there's plenty of time to get there and back. I found Sukin Park. There is lots of cherry blossom. Take a look at this. Beautiful, and I've just seen another bright pink tree behind me as well, so I'm going to go and take a look at that. Check this out. Okay, I made it here. Um, that wasn't quite the 16 or 17 minute walk from the shrine that uh, I was led to believe it was, so that's quite nice. There we go. Right, I'm going to pop in. Oh my, looks like there's something pretty breathtaking here. Take a look at this. I'm going to crouch down so you can see all of it. Oh my. Right, I'm going to keep walking this way and hoping that it all opens up. I'm not sure if I can fit this all in. I need to try and get to a suitable vantage point. This is just crazily beautiful. Take a look at this. It's just so calm you wouldn't believe you're next to a main road. Sometimes the unplanned days are the best of days. It's time to go across these bridges and head to the Tory Gate over by the little mini shrine. Walk with me. Okay, 
I'm at the top in the middle. It's got to be time for a 360. Just beautiful. Right, let's keep going. Well, I'll talk about making the best of things. What an interesting, lovely few hours it's been here in Wakayama. It would have been nice to go to Kochi because we had the, the plans there. However, it's been a wonderful, wonderful day here visiting the shrine and the gardens here. So it's time to find my way out and head back to the ship. There was a lot of music coming from speakers over by the ship just now as we are just back. Take a look. And I'm not sure if it's played tracks or there are people actually singing but I can hear oh my god it is actually people singing and clapping. Right bear with me dear viewers and I will get closer and I'll video a bit of it. So many unexpected things today. <laughs> back on board and as we're sailing away four hours earlier than we would have sailed away from Kochi why not take advantage of a quick spot of lunch in Sars Palace let's take a look at the menu for lunchtime take my top off because it's so warm uh, so I think I've decided what I'm gonna have from memory the cream of mushroom soup is really really good so I'm gonna have that for main I'm gonna have the moussaka um, interestingly it's beef moussaka not lamb um, maybe I'll change it to the spaghetti carbonara oh, decisions decisions you just have to wait till it comes out and then for dessert, I'm going to have the tiramisu. Uh, it tends to be a bit hit and miss on cruise ships, so we'll see what it's like. The starter's out, and I'm excited for this one because it was absolutely delicious when I last had it. So let's hope it doesn't disappoint. Here is the mushroom soup. The soup was wonderful, and I went with the carbonara because beef in moussaka, really? So, carbonara is here. Parmesan has been added by the lovely waiter and it's time to tuck in. Spaghetti carbonara was absolutely fantastic and far far better than I remember it being. Um, I think if I remember rightly I last had it on the Norwegian breakaway and we had literally just spent a couple of days in Rome and had carbonara there so it would have always been a disappointment however I have to say I think that one was better than the one I had on breakaway. Anyway uh, now it's time for dessert. It is uh, just coming up to 1.20, so we're not really done too bad for time, considering I've only been here about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Oh, I forgot it was Mr. Sexy Legs competition out on the pool deck today. After a chill back in the room and a very much unplanned siesta, it was time to head out for dinner. 
Good evening. Yes, evening. I don't know where that came from. I was planning on going to the Latitudes cocktail party at 5.30. Uh, one minute I was sat on my bed, the next minute it was three hours later. So, it's uh, back in Sars Palace again, and then straight after this I've got the rock show in the main theatre. So, let me show you the menu for this evening. Let's kick this evening's meal off then. We'll start with a bit of bruschetta. There it is, right. I've worked up quite an appetite having that sleep for three hours. That bruschetta was really good. I virtually inhaled it. So it's now time for the bacon and bourbon glazed chicken breast. It does look rather nice and it smells good too. The bourbon chicken was really, really good. It was uh, sweet and um, just the right amount of sweet and it had a fiery kick to it. Really, really good. And I'm just waiting on the two desserts to come out. And there we go. No sooner had I switched the camera off that both desserts arrived. So we've got the after eight mint chocolate mousse. warm apple strudel. Both desserts were absolutely fantastic. What a great meal. I think the first night was just a little bit of a, an anomaly. At least I hope so. Everything crossed. That was absolutely delicious. Right, so that is dinner done. Now it's time to head to the main Stardust Theatre for The Rock Show. Okay, that was a pretty good show. Much, much better than last night. And even though parts of it were quite good last night, that was a really high energy show tonight. So I've put a jumper on because I'm heading up to deck 13 and I might take a little look in the Spinnaker Lounge. It looks like I've just caught the end of the further dance class here in Spinnaker before the 80s night starts. fair to say that the party nights on board Norwegian Jewel are just that little bit more tame than they normally would be if they were around the pool deck. Well, considering the port change, I think I've really made the best of things today. What a great day. The shrine, the gardens, dining twice in Sars Palace, the school children welcoming us back, Mr. Sexy Legs, the rock show, the 80s night. It's been a pretty great day. So we will leave it there for today. Join me tomorrow in Kagoshima, where it's gonna be another fun packed day. If you haven't already, then do consider subscribing to the channel and do hit that notification bell so you're the first to be notified when new content drops. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next upload. Good night now. Dum, da, da, dum.